guys, today I teamed up with NYX Professional Makeup to talk to you guys all about their new collection and they have the new Love You So Mochi highlighter palettes, the Love You So Mochi eyeshadow palettes, and eight different shades of the new Powder Puff Lippies. And I'm going to show you guys everything today, do an eye look. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely stay tuned. You guys can see all this stuff in action and I'm excited. This video is sponsored by NYX, so thank you so much for partnering with me on this video to show everybody the new products. Before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Also, you guys can follow me on all my other social media stuff. Everything is Raw Beauty Christy, so Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. And without further ado, let's, let's put some makeup on. Let's play with some stuff. So if you guys have not seen these products yet, I'm surprised because they're all over the place. And it's got this soft, squishy, pillowy texture that when you push your finger into it, it creates a little indent. And because of that, it's got a really creamy texture that glides on so smoothly and has a lot of color payoff. Along with the eyeshadow palettes, they also created the highlighter palettes. They have one in the cool tone and one in the warm. As you guys can see, I've been pushing my fingers into them all morning. They also came out with the powder puff lippies. Now these are cool. They apply like a mousse, but then they set down like a powder and they have a matte finish, but it's not overly matte where it's drying. It's really soft and smooth and it's very weightless. The lip products come in a range of shades. So you have everything from berry tones, some hot pink, all the way down to more nude shades as well. They have a very lightweight, powdery, soft finish that you'll just have to try them to know what I mean. They're very comfortable. And you guys know I'm not a huge fan typically of super matte lip products, but these are like nothing I've ever tried before. They feel completely different. The tip of these is a pillowy cushion applicator and you squeeze the product right up through it. You can feather out the edges. You can make it darker in the center. We're gonna start with Sleek and Chic. This is the more neutral tone palette from the Lovey Sound Mochi collection. Look at that color down there, stunning. This is the Electric Pastels palette. Now we're gonna move on to the highlighter palettes. First, we've got the Arcade Glam, which is the more cool toned palette. This one is the Lit Life, which is the more warm toned palette. I'm gonna put a piece of tape on because I want this line to be really crisp. I'm gonna use the Sleek and Chic palette today because this is just calling to me. Honestly, these two shades right here are speaking my name. So you take a piece of scotch tape and you put it on the back of your hand first so that you get it not as sticky so it's not pulling your skin when you remove it. And you just kinda find where you want it to go. The hardest part is not looking like an idiot. We did not achieve that today. <laughs> So the Love You So Mochi palettes are a lot more shimmer based than they are matte. The palette that I'm gonna use today does have one matte shade in it, but I'm going to be really focusing on the shimmer shades in there. So I do wanna run a matte shade throughout my crease. And for that, I'm actually gonna use the NYX Highlight and Contour palette. And I'm just gonna use some of the bronzer shades up at the top. And I'm just gonna kinda run those through the crease area. So you see how I'm blending over the tape? It doesn't stick to anything. So it, you can just really be haphazard with it, which I love. So now I'm gonna go in with the Lovey So Mochi palette in Sleek and Chic, and I'm gonna take this color here, and I'm going to pack that on a brush first, and it actually works really well on a brush. You would think your finger would be the best to apply, and I think that's the best way to get the shimmer, but you'll see how well this packs on with a brush. It's pretty astounding.
push your finger into it and get a good amount of product on there. Oh my gosh, can you even believe how pretty this is? And then this will be the application with your finger. which I like to focus more on the real mobile lid. Not so much in the crease, just really down on the bottom. This is the Primal Colors from NYX. It's in the shade Hot Black. And I'm gonna dip with a little tapered brush in, tap off some of the excess so it's not overly pigmented, and just run that on the outer portion of the eye. So that's the one eye, but what I'm gonna do now is intensify the shimmer with this shade here and this part, oh my gosh, so good. While you still have the tape on is a really good time to add your wing liner because you have a guide. So it's just gonna be so simple. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera real quick and then I will be right back and I will peel the tape off and it'll be the most satisfying thing you've ever seen. And I'll be right back. All right, ready? That is the most satisfying thing I've ever done in my life. Thank you very much. I put concealer on right up to the line and so everything's looking nice and crisp and clean. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on and I'm going to just quickly bronze up my face and do a little bit of contour with the NYX contour palette. I think I wanna go in with this shade here from the Electric Pastels Love You So Mochi palette. These really seem like shades that would perform better with your finger, but they do great with a brush. I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this shade here for the very inner corner. Ooh, I love the way this looks. Oh my God. I think I'm gonna take this palette today. This is Arcade Glam Love You So Mochi Highlighting Palette. And I think I'm gonna take a mixture of this and this on my cheeks. I wanna try it on my beauty sponge, which I think would be the best way to apply it. Oh yeah. Ooh, how cool is that? gives a very lit from within glow, which I really love. It has a cool like duochromatic appearance to it as well, but it really does highlight, as you can see, like how highlighted my cheekbones look. I know I'm adding a little too much, but I don't really care. What a cool formula, and it really does have a high shine. Let's move on to the final step, which will be the lips, and I don't know what color to do. I'm gearing more towards this shade, which is Cool Intentions, let's see. And then I wanna go in with a little bit of a lighter shade on the outside, this is Best Buds. And I wanna take a little bit of Moody and just put it right on the center of the lips. You know what I wanna do? I wanna take a little bit of this shade here and I wanna take this on my lips to shimmer them up. And this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I'd say like top 10 favorite looks I've done. These powder puff lippies are so insanely comfortable on the lips. You can't feel them. And you guys know how I feel about matte lip products. So I'm shocked by all of this. The Lovey So Mochi eyeshadow palette, super, super, super beautiful, super pigmented, glides on so simply. The highlighter palettes, I didn't know how they were gonna blend on top of powder. I had zero issue. Go to the store and like push your fingers into these and swipe them on your arms and you'll you'll know right then and there like why they're so, they're so different from anything I've felt before. The whole thing is, I mean, A plus. I'd say I really like the way all these products performed and I'm really surprised by how much I like them. So it's always really nice to find like winner products in a line and I'm really glad I gave these a shot today and ended up liking everything so much. So thank you so much, Nick, for partnering with me on this video. And also thank you guys for watching. Everything I used will be listed in the description of this video if you want to pick anything up. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye.